Jesus is a prophet. We should honor him. Yes, we will be correcting the greatest deception of all time. I get it. It's the ultimate jihad. Eliminate Christianity by killing Jesus before the resurrection. Muhammad just killed off every Christian that ever existed. From writer-director Jim Carroll comes an adventure like no other. When a group of scientists discover time travel, they uncover a plot by terrorists to use time travel to travel back to biblical times to assassinate Jesus Christ. And he joins me on the phone right now. Jim, thanks for talking to me today. Thank you for taking the time to look at the movie and everything. I appreciate it. Well, Jim, your film has what I think a lot of faith-based movies are missing, excitement. Yeah, I mean, I... I started this dream way back in college, I guess, when we were watching stuff like The Exorcist and Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I said, yeah, why can't Christian filmmakers make movies that are fun? They all have to be serious, and they're, they're preaching to the choir. And I want to make something that everybody wants to go see. And then, hey, I can stick my message in there, and it doesn't really offend anybody because it's like, as you watch this one, it's kind of like a history, a history lesson. So, Jim, tell me about your inspiration for Assassin 33 AD. Did you skip church one Sunday and watch Back to the Future? <laughs> well, I guess I've always been a movie buff. I like, you know, I enjoy movies a lot. Uh, but I'm kind of an outside-the-box thinker. I've, uh, I've done a lot of different things in my career. From uh, I've trained to do, uh, do seminars under Dr. Phil, and I've been doing those for 26 years uh, in a nonprofit organization. I was on the reality uh, TV show, Mary's Boot Camp, Reality Stars. I own a security guard company, a software company, a hearing aid company. Just, I just do a lot of different things, and uh, writing this story is just kind of uh, my way of, of trying to express my heart toward God in a, in a fun way. And I think your most complex character is Captain Graham, who renounces God. He blames God for losing his family, uh, but he goes on this most incredible journey, and he's changed different times. As he travels through time, his character grows. Yeah, I, when I, every character I put in the story, I tried to go real to life. I, I mean, most, most people who have faith, some point or time, something so bad happens to them that they go, really, God? You're, you're going to do this to me? And so so that was Brant's story. And then and, and the rest of them all kind of had, as you saw, their had their stories that went along too. But Brant was my main character, actually, even though it appears to be Morgan. Because uh, uh, that's I think that's the way a lot of people feel when God does something and it, they turn out on the wrong end of it. Or if, or if an accident happens. It's amazing your film is based on the premise, if we could travel back in time to kill Hitler, uh, but this time, you know, terrorists are, are going back, or jihadists, extremists, are going back in time to assassinate Christ. So I think that's a really brave premise. Yeah, and, uh, and there's a lot of uh, people hitting up my website and YouTube and saying I'm Islamophobic and all that kind of stuff. And I think I covered it pretty good in, in the movie saying, look, you know, Muslims wouldn't want to do this. Extremists would, just like we have extremist Christians, okay? And it really doesn't make a lot of sense anyway, because they're going to go back and destroy that, and, and then who knows if Muhammad is going to come along. So, uh, it's, I mean, that's just part of the fun of the time travel thing, but it does seem like it would be the ultimate jihad. And uh, you don't get to see this one scene because we cut it out, but, man, I had this great apocalypse uh, stuff going on going toward the future and you just get a glimpse of it but uh, budget wise um, that would like added another 1.4 million dollars and I thought no nah, I think <laughs> we could we'll skip the apocalypse scheme for the uh, scene right now what I think is enlightening throughout your film you have the theme of forgiveness yes uh, I I conduct seminars called the life and prevention boot camp and marriage boot camp and as people go through I teach them how to release all their anger, bitterness, and resentment toward anybody and everybody. And so uh, it is like one of the most powerful things in the world when people are able to do that. So I definitely want to put that in the story for uh, Morgan to do it all, but also for everybody to see how Christ uh, forgives everybody. Well, Jim, you had so many different plot lines with time travel in your script. Did you have a difficult time keeping track of them as you wrote the screenplay? <laughs> well, the movie was 45 minutes longer when we were happy with it. And so then we had to cut 45 minutes out of the plot. So uh, I think that it's a little harder to follow than what it was because we have to jump from one scene to the next and we skip chases down the hallway and some gunfire and battles here, here and there. Uh, so uh, 
I didn't have any problem with it because I wrote it and had to go back and forth on it. But I'm, I'm sure as people watch it, they're, they're going to struggle. And finally today, Jim, what do you hope audiences will take away after watching Assassin 33 AD? Uh, what I'd really like them to take away is, uh, let me rephrase that. <laughs> I hope it's, I hope the movie is thought provoking. I hope after they watch it, they, they say to themselves, did that really happen in the Bible? What about that guy running nude away at the very end? Is that true? And, you know, did Jesus really know he was going to give his life and do it this way? So I, I really just want people to be curious and, and do their own research. He will be remembered as a great prophet, but not as a son of God. Assassin 33 AD opens in limited release. Make sure you check your local listings for showtimes. Also, check out their website for all the news and information at assassin33ad.com. I'm Jeffrey Gower in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.